exiled here. And if you saw my last video about this, you know how much we hate kingfish. Have we changed our mind now that we stayed here? Let's find out right after this. Maybe we still hate it because when you come out this gate, you can't get back in. That key card reader does not work. Maybe we now love it because of these great inlet views. Or maybe we still hate it because they can't spell kingfish. It isn't spelled as two words. Maybe we also like it because you're really close to this walking path that goes along the inlet. Maybe we still hate it because even with those great inlet views, you still have a view of this big monstrosity. Or maybe we love it because their parking lot is all interlocking stone instead of that blacktop asphalt they have at the rest of the resort. And also, maybe because there's tons of parking. Or maybe we still hate it because on the weekends, the parking lots look like this. They're packed. Okay, hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. Before we get too far, let me know in the comments below what you think the final outcome will be of whether we hate or love kingfish. While you're doing that, I just want to let you know on Destination Timeshare, I like to share some of my best tips, strategies, and advice on how to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. So if that sounds like what you're looking for, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on a single video. Okay, so uh, we have been exiled here to Kingfish. And to be honest, this was actually a self-imposed exile, I guess you could say, because uh, we actually requested the Kingfish building prior to check-in. So a few weeks before we checked in, they actually had called us and I said, hey, we want Kingfish. Which is kind of surprising given my last video on the subject of how much we hate Kingfish. But we kind of figured we really wouldn't know until we've actually stayed here. So we decided to give it a shot and see what our impressions are of Kingfish. One thing I also want to point out before we uh, get too far, when you're actually checking in at the uh, main check-in, which is actually up at the main resort, when you're checking in, they're almost scared to tell you that they're putting you in Kingfish for whatever reason. They didn't even tell me where we were. They just kind of handed me a map where they had circled the Kingfish building. They didn't say a word. Now, we had actually requested it, so I don't know if they could see that or not, but talking to some other people around the resort, it's kind of like they really try and sell it. Hey, this is the newest building, even though it's probably like, what, 15 years old, if not older. And uh, it has been recently updated, so they really try and sell that for the reason to stay here in Kingfish. But they kind of know, I think, that they're not going to get a very good reaction from a lot of people. Because a lot of people don't want to be here. They don't want to be exiled like me. So as you may or may not know, Kingfish was actually the last building built. It is actually separated by this big white building over here from the main section of the resort that's over there. So that is kind of the one drawback of this building is it's kind of a resort within a resort. In order to get it between the two, you either have to drive or take a little bit of a walk either up the beach or up the sidewalk. It's not too far, but you can't easily walk in between the Kingfish building and the rest of the resort. Okay, so now definitely some of the drawbacks of Kingfish here, as I pointed out in my last video and a little bit in this one already, is the kind of seclusion from the main section of the resort. The restaurant, High Tides, kind of bar, and they serve some light snacks and foods, chicken wings, hot dog, you know, that kind of stuff. It is uh, kind of secluded, and the bar there is only open from, I believe, 11 till 5. I think that's its actual regular hours, no special hours for the pandemic. So that is a little disappointing if you come down later in the evening, you're not going to get any food here. And if you want to eat on property, you have to hoof it back over to the main section. So that is definitely one of the drawbacks. They do have that exterior hallways there, but that's really not too much of an issue or a concern. The elevators are actually a big plus. They have two elevators here, much like they have at the rest of the resort and the other buildings. But for whatever reason, we haven't had any issues getting an elevator, waiting for an elevator. It seems like up in the other buildings, there always seems to be a line for the elevators, especially now with kind of only one person or family in the elevator at a time per trip. So we noticed that the last time we were here that there seemed to always be a line for the elevators, especially during that kind of peak time 
going down or going back up to your room from the pools. Another drawback here is simply the pool. It doesn't seem like it's very big. I mean, it looks kind of large, but then it also has that zero entry section, which for some people will actually be a pretty big plus. It's easy to get in, easy to get out, no steps. But that also takes up a big portion of the pool where it's not very deep and you really can't swim in it. So the pool seems to be relatively small for the number of villas that they have here. And the pool actually seems kind of busy. I would expect a lot of people would have gone back up to the main resort to the pool, but we actually found that people came from the main section of the resort down here to use the pool as well. Maybe they want a little bit quieter experience. The pools up there are definitely pretty busy, so, so that is kind of a negative is the smaller pool. The plus is it's just not nearly as hectic or chaotic as the pools up in the main section. Okay, so while we've been living in exile, we actually haven't even been to the main section on this trip. We're probably going to go up there maybe tomorrow or the next day just to kind of get away from Kingfish here. But overall, I'm not sure if I would request this section again. We are in an Oceanside Villa, so our view isn't fantastic. I think it would actually be pretty great if you had one of the oceanfront villas where you have a great view either directly out to the ocean or the inlet there where you can see all kinds of boat traffic going by. That would be pretty interesting, but if we were just in an Oceanside Villa again, I don't think we would request Kingfish. And even if we were an oceanfront, I still think I prefer the main section of the resort. Okay, so to answer the question, do we still hate Kingfish? Probably not. Kingfish it definitely has its pluses and its minuses, but I'll take that video back from before. I don't hate Kingfish anymore. It's just I do much prefer the other section of the resort. You have all of the benefits of the restaurant, which has longer hours, and just kind of the much bigger selection of pools, three different pools up there, whereas this here at Kingfish just has that one smaller pool. So we don't hate Kingfish, but we certainly don't love it either. And uh, we probably wouldn't request it again. So as I walk along this path, that's along the inlet at sunset. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And also feel free to share this video for more videos about Timeshare. Check out the description box below in what to watch next. And if you want to see another video about Marriott's Ocean Point, check out this one right up here and YouTube. They think you'll like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, the best destination is always a timeshare.